On the West Bank, flood officials showed how the largest pumping stations in the world diverts water from the intracoastal waterway during storms. Josh Robinson has more from Bell Chase on what's expected to be an above average season for hurricanes. Right, and we're, st we're standing on the gate as we speak right now, which a second ago I went through its demonstration of closing uh, and then opening back up. And if they hear that sound behind me, it got loud out here just a few minutes ago because now the water is coming through, the pumps are running, and I'm here with Nick Callie, who's the regional director of the Lu uh, Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authority. Uh, and Nick, what exactly is going on behind us? It's loud, all that water is pouring, and we're talking, I mean, hard to quantify just how much water is going through this right now. And so this is the last portion of our inspection and exercise program in advance of hurricane season. And so today we're exercising the West Closure Complex. We have our local, state, federal partners here, and we're just going through all the paces to make sure we're prepared for hurricane season. And this is such a large gate here, uh, here on the Intercoastal Waterway, and also all this water going through behind me, which you said, you know, earlier, just a few seconds of that water will fill up an Olympic size uh, swimming pool. It's just a massive amount of water coming through here. Why is it so important to do this every year ahead of a, 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 what we're anticipating to be a very busy hurricane season? Uh, we want to make sure every piece of the system works every time we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, preparation for hurricane season begins December 1st. Mm -hmm. It's a year long process. Um, this is part of a larger $14.7 billion investment that the federal government made in, the, in South Louisiana. Uh, so we have to ensure it works to protect the 250,000 residents that live behind these walls. And, you know, you can see way off in the distance, we can see the, the skyline of New Orleans. And we're talking about Orleans and Jefferson Parish, as you said, 250,000 residents. And um, uh, really, this there's a lot that goes into this that people may not understand, right? Right. And so we're responsible for everything on the West Bank that's inside the federal system. And then there's an East Bank authority that does the same thing for the East Bank. Mm -hmm. um, and their preparation is just like ours. And so we're focused on making sure that every component of the system is ready for the upcoming hurricane season. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's quite a sight to be out here right now, Nick. And I appreciate you talking to me. Thanks so uh, much. Miles showing you the water right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and send it back to you now. But you can see uh, just a massive amount of water. And this is a sight you don't get to see every day. We'll send it back to you.